a shepherd. And the shepherd's tool is the shepherd's crook. It has a long shaft that the shepherd used to protect his flock from predators, from lions and bears in the mountains. It also made a pretty good place to just kind of lean on it. Because they had a long, tough life. They walked with the sheep to the fields and they walked them home to the coat at night. So it was a tool of many kinds. The crook with a little hook on it was designed so that the shepherd could direct his sheep with the shepherd's crook. If they were being wayward, he would simply put it around their neck and bring them back. If he chose to move them in a direction with that little bit of pressure from the hook, he could turn them in any direction he wanted them to go. So a simple tool. And yet that's what Christ is in our lives, is a simple tool. Strength enough to protect us from the predators in our lives, the bad habits and the vices that we are willing to surrender ourselves to. A crook to direct us in the ways he would have us go. We don't often look at this as a Christ symbol, but it is. Because Christ came into our life that we might not be wavered anymore. That we might know of the joy and the peace of being one with him and one with Christ. And when we have a, and I want to thank you guys for the performance, both of them. I love them both. Thanks the choir for backing them up. But we, we simplify things that are complicated and we make very complicated things that are very simple. It was an elaborate plan of God to bring to us his son to demonstrate his love for us. The love that he had, the love that he has, and the love that he always will have. For his love never dies. So the, the story of Christmas, yeah, it's about a baby in a manger. It's about no room at the end. It's about your life and my life. Because in every life, there are those times when things just don't gel. They just don't blend. We lose loved ones, and it breaks our hearts. But think how God must have felt when he gave the son that he loved so much that we, you and I might celebrate eternal life through his death. And we're, we're called upon to remember as we share our thoughts and our dreams with those in our families and those surrounding us that, that love is eternal. Love never goes away. We end, but love does not. So the God who loved us, who loves us, who will always love us, is here at the beginning of the story, through the whole story, and he is the whole story, the story of the end. So we come to share this day our words and we sing and we speak and we praise and, and we laugh because this is a season of joy and yet it's also a season of heartbreak for many where it may be the first <coughs> holiday season without a loved one it may be the first holiday season in reflection upon something so the joy that we have is given to us through the ultimate joy of being one with Christ, our shepherd's crook, the strength to defend us, the love to guide us, Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen.